Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to make the schematic of D flip flop and then we will see its waveform in LT spice. So before starting, let's have a quick uh, uh, review of uh, how a D flip flop works. So this is the block diagram. We will need two inputs that is D and clock and the D flip flop will have two outputs Q and Q bar. So if you try to look at the truth table, you will see that whenever the clock is low, okay, whatever input you provide at D, there will be no change in the output Q n plus 1 and Q bar n plus 1, where Qn is the present state and Qn plus 1 in the, is the next state. That is if the clock is low, no matter what changes you make in the input, the next state, that is the next state will be the same as the present state. However, when the clock is high, whatever input you provide the same will be reflected at the next state of q whereas the next state of q bar will be the complement of the input so this is the truth table and this is how the d flip flop works and the equation will be somewhat like this that is the next state is same as the input so we say that the characteristic equation of d flip flop is q n plus 1 is equals to d and this is the schematic diagram that we will be making in the LT Spice software. So we will require one NOT gate that is we will provide D input to one of the uh, NAND gate and then we will uh, invert this input and provide it to another NAND gate and we will provide clock. The output of the first state will be fed into the, as the input of the next state and then the outputs that is Q and Q bar will be cross coupled in this format. So this is the schematic that we will be preparing in LT Spice. So let us start. Open new schematic. Go to the component section. Select. Here you will select end. Okay. Because uh, the bubble. This bubble will be acting as the NAND output. So we will take four AND gates. Then we will select inverter. And we will place it here okay At, uh, then we will take two voltage sources the first voltage source will be acting as your input d and the next voltage source will be basically your clock okay i will just uh, modify the circuit a little bit okay now let us try to make the connections this is d input so for the first it is being inverted and for the second it is being fed like this only this is the clock input we will provide it to both the NAND gates now we will take in output from this bubble okay so that this acts as a NAND gate similarly like this and take the output from here like this now this is the output Q which will be fed as the input of this gate and this is the output q bar which will be fed as the input of this gate okay so this is how my connections are completed now we will provide the ground to voltage sources and let us rename them right click here on v1 and write d similarly right click on v2 and here you write clk that is clock okay then we will label the outputs so select label net here right here q and select the port type as output click ok similarly again right here q bar and select the port type as output and click on ok now the last thing is that we have to uh, make these voltages so just right click here and select advanced we will take the pulse v initial 0 v on is 5 i don't want any delay let's take the rise and fall time as 5 nanoseconds t on i'm taking as 20 milli and the total period is double of it that is 40 milli similarly i will right click on clock go to advance select the pulse input v initial 0 v on is 5 0 5 nano 5 nano let us take it as 40 milli and period as 80 milli okay 
then we will try to drag it okay and at last we will edit the simulation command the maximum period here is 80 milli so we will take the stop time as 80 milli paste it here and finally run it tell the window vertically here we will take four plot planes the first plot plane will be for clock so let us put the red pen here this is the clock waveform then we will take d this is d okay then we will take output waveform q then output waveform q bar now let us try to analyze these waveforms so according to the these uh, this uh, figure we said that whenever the clock is low the output should be same as the previous state or we can say that the next state should be same as the previous state and whenever the clock is high only then the output will be same as the input so here when the clock is high the output q is same as the input d okay and when the clock is low the next state will be same as the previous state and that we are going to we are seeing here that it is same as the previous state so irrespective of the change in the input the next state is the same as the previous state uh, and if you try to look at the waveform of q bar it is just the inverse of q so when our the clock is high this q bar is basically inverse of input and when the clock is low the next state is same as the previous state so this is how you can make the schematic of d flip flop in ltspice and simulate it to get the waveforms you can comment your queries in the comment section below thank you